Hey all, welcome back to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to look at link aggregation groups in uh, 8.0.61 and up. So there has been some very significant changes in the syntax. Um, so there's been previous videos that I've created on uh, lags or link aggregation groups. Um, and you'll see there's a substantial difference if you've, if you've uh, configured those in the past. So let's have a look. So this is a, uh, a 7150 compact, uh, but the changes apply to all the ICX series, 7250, 7450, 7750. Um, so show version here shows me that I'm running uh, switch code in this case, 8061. Um, and so the first thing we'll notice if I try to create a lag. So uh, normally when we create a lag, you say lag. You give it a name, so we'll call it, um, and it doesn't matter, uplink1, uh, whether it's static, dynamic, or keep alive. So we'll call this a dynamic for uh, LACP enabled. Um, and so in the past, we've just been able to hit enter here, right? Um, but now we have to specify an ID. And this ID is important because it is now used to create an interface, um, a lag interface. And you'll see that in a second. So ID, and then we can do auto or we can give it a value here. So I'm just going to choose auto and let the system generate me an ID number. But in your case, you may want to statically create those. It's up to you. So we'll say auto. So it now puts me in this lag mode, right? So, um, as we've done in the past, we add our ports. So ports, um, Ethernet, or just E is fine, and then specify our ports. Uh, two, one, one, two. Okay. Now you'll see that it says deployed successfully, right? So two major things changed here. One, I didn't have to do a deploy, and two. I didn't have to create a primary port, right? So if I try to say primary, um, the command is there. So primary 111, it tells me that the command is obsolete. So there's no longer this concept of primary port where you put the configuration onto. And now we have an interface called interface lag and the number that it generated. So um, uh, so let me let me do a show run here. Uh, and so it it did it created a lag. We called it uplink one, and it assigned an ID of one, right? So there is now an interface called uh, lag one, or at least there will be. Um, and those are the ports I have assigned to it, right? So I don't see that interface show up in the configuration, just like all of our interfaces. If it's got a default configuration on it, it doesn't show up in the config. So um, let's do something here. Um, so another very significant change is VLAN. So if I have a VLAN, let's create VLAN 10. In the past, I took the primary port and I tagged or untagged it in the appropriate VLAN, which put the whole lag in that VLAN. Now, if I try to do that, if I say, uh, tag E111, um, it says it's not allowed, right? So even if I tag the E112, it's still not allowed, right? So it's a secondary port. So what I need to do is actually tag the lag interface and then followed by the ID number. So tag lag one adds my lag into that VLAN, right? So a show run shows me, here's my VLAN 10, tag lag one, right? Um, also, uh, as I said before, I have an interface called lag one. You can't see it, but it's there. Um, so if we go into interface lag one, we have all the commands that are available on a regular interface here. Um, so for example, um, I could say dual mode. If I wanted to uh, run that in dual mode, uh, I could do a speed dash duplex. Uh, let's see if I wanted to put it in, you know, gig instead of 10 gig, for example. So if I do a show run now, here's my interface called lag one. I, I put dual mode on it, speed duplex 1000 full. 
whatever it is applies to all the ports in the lag, right? Um, if I do a disable, it'll disable the entire lag uh, if I do a disable onto that interface. If I want to disable just one of the interfaces, as I would in the past, I go to the lag, um, lag uplink one, I called it, which puts me in the lag mode, and then I can disable a single interface uh, right here, E111. Right, so it's disabled just a single interface here rather than disabling the entire lag. So if I want to disable the lag, I do it under the interface lag. If I want to disable just a single port, I can do it there. Um, also, if I try to deploy my lag, it tells me that the command is obsolete. So there is no uh, longer a necessity to deploy a lag or to provide a primary port. Everything now is done under that interface lag uh, configuration. And as I said, you can have the system either dynamically generate those, um, those lag numbers for you, or you can generate your own, um, you know, using whatever scheme um, you've decided for your environment. But that's the basic changes. Um, so fairly significant, but they do simplify your configuration, I think, uh, overall. So, Hope you enjoyed it and uh, let me know if you have any comments. Thanks and take care.